I don't usually make Inazuma 11 content, or much content different from software and stuff, but lately I've been having a hard time finding interesting content to talk about, so I've decided to broaden the channel to talk about whatever I want. Anyway, if you couldn't tell from the title of the video, I'll be ranking the songs from Inazuma 11, you know, the original series of course. Here are my top 20. Disclaimer, of course, these are based on my opinions, and people might feel differently. In no way do I force anyone to agree with my views. Also, I might use the Japanese and English names interchangeably, so I'm sorry in advance. Number 20. At number 20, it's going to be Wind and Adolescence. It's surely a cozy song, fitting for wholesome parts in the anime and the games. Even though I do have a preference for more sad and aggressive songs as you'll see later on, Wind of Adolescence still has a spot in my heart being at number 20. Number 19 At number 19, it's gotta be Go Ryman. Its inclusion of the strings and guitars with all the different drums going along in the background, you know, it's truly an amazing um, track, a part of the soundtrack. And it's English Dove, you know, it's the song used to close up every episode of season one, by the way, with, you know, Mark Evans saying, Coming up next on Inazuma 11, this game is off the hook! Classic Mark. Number 18. At number 18, I honestly have to give it to the Death Zone theme. You know, it's played in the second episode in the first season against Royal Academy when they actually used Death Zone as in the move. And um, I don't exactly know why I like this track so much, but you know, I just do. So, eh, it's okay. Number 17. At spot 17, we have Mu Agru Bakrin, or the English translation of Burning Explosion. It's another one of my favorite OSTs, playing also in Season 2. I enjoyed this track a lot, though I can't say it's in the top 10 list. I, I don't know why, but I guess it's okay. Number 16 At spot 16 we have the Inazuma Caravan theme, shown in the second episode of Season 2. It is used when they unveil the Inazuma Caravan to mark and the crew. Honestly, that was the only plot point of that entire episode though, so I only got excited here. Number 15 At number 15, we have Keshi no Kogeki. Played during the second season, it most memorably was seen on the time when Fubuki came out on the field and everyone was like, Oh nah, he's here! Or the time when Endo did Sagino Tekken for the first time. It's a pretty high track, and I honestly get goosebumps whenever I hear it, because I know stuff is getting ready to go down. I, I, I just love it so much. Number 14 At number 14, we have Champions of the World. This song was played in Season 3, most memorably during the game against Little Gigan in Inazuma, Japan. Of nature, it's a really upbeat song, and it's really heavy on the electric guitars, something I truly appreciate in all honesty. Not much to really say here though. Number 13 At number 13 we have the legendary Inazuma 11. Played in episode 1 when Kazemaru, Kabeyama, and Kurimatsu and the rest of the team stuck Endo while practicing, they finally decide to be actual fucking football players and not lazy slobs who pay Tetris on the DS. Like who does that? The song includes a variety of horns and strings in the beginning, going into a chill piano middle with, you know, strings and bells, before going back to the beginning and becoming insanely a beat for no reason again. I mean, like, really, why does it need to be this hype? Number 12 At number 12, we have Inibikari Fighter. It's played during matches against Alias Academy during the second season and provides a bit of suspense to the match, coming with the electric guitar, strings, and organs that are present throughout the song. Number 11 At number 11, we have Thoughts of the Elevens. Inizuma 11 has my heart when it comes to sad songs, and this specific track is no exception, but this one, actually, might be one of my favorite out of the entire series. The piano both give me warm, but also sad vibes, and combine that with the violin, and it's a work of art. I love what they did there. Number 10 At number 10 we have Stand in a Circle. 
played in the first season when playing against Royal Academy. And, you know, I cannot be the only one in this fandom that thinks this is an absolute banger. Like, like what? Number nine. At number nine, we have the theme for the Football Frontier International. It's so hype. It, I just, you know, words can I explain how, how cool and how amazing this track is. Though, if you've seen the third season of the anime, it is quite hard to listen to without, you know, imagining the commentators yelling at the top of their lungs, yelling the bloody obvious. You know, some people say that Inazuma 11 isn't similar to real life, but I'm actually starting to doubt that. Number 8 At number 8, I have to say that it's gotta be the soccer battle theme. They played this when Raymond was going against Wild Junior High and Kabayama had to use Inazuma 1 Atoshi to win the game. Honestly, it just gives me those really chill vibes, I don't know why. So you know, I have to put this on number 8. At number 7 we have Burning Phase Special, which is basically Gwenji Shuya's theme song. I mean honestly, it's so freaking hype and honestly just suits his edgy personality, you know what I'm saying? The guitars, the drums, the strings, it all, just put it together and it just gives it that hype vibe. Number 6 At number 6, we have Hengeki no Nuroshi, or the English translation of Smoke Signal of Counterattack. Seen in the third season of Inazuma 11 during the Football Frontier arc, during matches of course, it is easily one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite, song from that season you know it has a bit of emergency a, a bit of immediacy to that you know the horns with the flutes going off gradually building up brings that look at the screen now type of vibe you know what i'm saying then it goes into a duet with some strings and horns and the string goes and in, join into the song from then on it just makes the song sound just perfect especially for really important scenes in the anime at number 5, we have Mohi Torino A Striker. Um, you know, it gives off that really chill jazz vibes using the string, bass, saxophone, trumpets, you know, all that stuff in the beginning to kind of get the listener in the mood. But the hook is just, it's perfect. Honestly, initially, when I first started watching this series nearly seven years ago, this is my favorite song in this, this was my favorite song in the soundtrack. Uh, we're going to see what is my favorite song in this soundtrack very soon. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Number 4 At number 4 we have Official Matches. This song was played throughout the entire first season and I enjoy it just so much. It really has a hype intro with the piano, strings, guitars, and drums before going into an interesting flow with the violins and kind of sad but almost stereotypically Japanese metal until, you know, it goes back to hype towards the end and it's just a really beautiful track overall and I listen to this track just religiously. I would place it higher but there are also some really good ones that kind of compete with this. So let's see what's for number three. Number three and number two. So I wanted to put number three and number two together because they're both pretty short. But at number three, it's gotta be Crusade of Gods. I really don't have an explanation to be honest. I just really like it, I don't know why. And at number two, I also like Adversity. Something about it gets, just gets stuck in my head and it makes me wanna get up and do something, which is kind of odd. But the number one, the absolute best song in the Inazuma 11 franchise in the first three seasons of it, that is, um, a Go version will be coming out soon, has to be Raimon no Chika, um, or Raimon's Power in English. I listen to the song on repeat consistently, and the entire song is just so hype, but it best be described as bipolar, because hype really doesn't do it much justice. 
The initial part sounds so happy and upbeat with the hype drums, the guitars and organs and it uses the strings to put it all together just to add the build up but once you get to that middle, it's a work of art. It uses the trumpets, the violins and other string instruments to hook the listener in real good and after a while it gets a beat for a couple of seconds, you know, it, but it goes all in with the guitar making it even more epic and suspenseful before going on to repeat itself and finish the song. You know, overall, this song is just put together amazingly, and the composers there at Inazuma 11 were on point. So that was the, the my top 20 of the Inazuma 11 OST collection. Um, there are a lot more songs that I probably could have mentioned. There are a lot of good ones that I probably didn't mention. But these were the ones that stuck out to me the most, especially when watching the anime. Like, I literally, deliberately looked a lot of these up and searched for them. Those And these are the ones that I found out the names for after I rewatched watched Zoom 11 sometime in 2020. Uh, so yeah, I really do enjoy the Nizum 11 soundtrack. Uh, hats off to Yasunori Mitsuda and everyone else. They're level 5, um... So, um, yeah, that's been it with me. Um, have a wonderful day. That's the end of the video. Um, and cue the end card.